Hello and welcome back beautiful people. I hope you're doing well. Today we have another reaction video. Well, let's get to work, shall we? Right. Find a man, There's you did this. There's not somebody out there for everyone. There is. Well, there's not. we're not for everyone, correct, someone. but we're not, I'm not here saying like, oh, every OnlyFans woman won't find a man. Like that's, who's to say that? You know what I mean? Uh, well, I just... the, the, the statistics literally, well, they don't say that, but they say close to that. They say that, yes, your chances and likelihood, the more promiscuous you are to maintain it's... an interpersonal relationship with a man over a long period of time. It's odd because. Drastically decreased. It's odd because I have like both friends that are in the industry or are not in the industry. And I feel like the ones that are, are and are in the relationship. Is that even debatable? I mean, is that even debatable? That if you are involved in any sort of sex work, you know, I'm not going to degrade the, uh, the lady, the young lady here, but, um, Come on, when you when you started doing this sort of this line of work, you already knew that. Um, and well, I don't know why they dis I don't know. Uh, I don't know why they pretend to be so ignorant about it. I don't know. Let's see. Andrew can explain it well. Chip are actually happier because they're honest and they're outgoing, they're open-minded, and they're speaking about sexual desires that- Open-minded, really but they're household. not traditional. Okay, well, what is- So we're non-traditional. Tra okay. Traditional, well, it's just, traditional it's, it's a title, was, right? I mean, okay, what, this is what traditional is. What would be is. the experiment that worked where two stars in history were getting together in, in holy matrimony in order to go and promote degeneracy? That's, of course, it's not traditional. That's a brand new it. single <laughs> gadget, right? This is a brand oh. new. Oh. She didn't say that. She didn't say that. She didn't say that. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. I mean, porn wasn't even legal in the United States for most of it. But everybody was watching most. it. Have you ever watched? Okay, you couldn't. You couldn't yes, watch yes. it because it Have wasn't even porn? legal. Everybody was doing heroin. Everybody was doing drugs as well. Doesn't mean it's okay. <laughs> okay. Have it you ever watched legal. porn? Have you ever watched porn? Honestly. Of course. Okay. Yeah, do you, of course. Do you think that woman is disgusting and like? The actors in the, in the in the video, you're like, wow, this man is like, because there's such a double standard in society where it's like we mm -hmm. put this man on a pedestal, like, wow, I wish I could be him, like mm -hmm. versus the woman. But do you think equally both of them are just as degenerate in that video when you watch it? Yeah. So why do you watch it? Yeah, you're well, sinning. I mean, once upon <laughs> once upon a time, I I myself engaged in plenty of degeneracy. <laughs> okay. and still, in so some, at least you can be honest. Regard, at least hang on, you stop, say... stop, stop. Let me answer the question. Right, mm -hmm. I'm not above uh, myself being a person who has been prone to sin. The the point of Christianity is not perfection. Not to yeah. say that you're a perfect person. It's to always be moving towards the ocean. something. <laughs> It's always moving towards something better. It's not about perf it's not about perfection. It's it's about realizing your mistake and working towards it. Um, I I okay. I have to say this. Um, I don't I don't want I don't want to be offensive about it. Um, I heard this quote. I heard this quote. It's not even a quote. It's it's uh, okay. I'll say. It. Um, from a sermon or somewhere, there are two kinds of people in this world. One who are the pigs and one who are the sheep. Now, both of them will fall in the mud. That's just the way it is. That's that's the world, that's the tricky world we live in. Both of them will get dirty. The only difference is the pig actually enjoys it and the sheep is trying to get out of it. So the, the young lady over here said about sinning and everything. Yes, we all fall short. We all sin. 
but the only difference is is that one one person is actually enjoying it doesn't really care about it and the other one is actually or she or whatever is actually trying to get out of it okay that's the that's the difference that's the beauty that's the beauty of the mercy of the good lord up there at least he sees your heart you see he sees if you are trying okay um i, I don't want uh, i don't want this to turn into a sermon here but um, I have to say this. I mean, and secondly, please don't humiliate the faith or um, Christ, man. I don't want to say it. Let's just let's just go back to the video. Oh God. Better not for you to say that there's an identification uh, distinction. There's no identification distinction between us. Because you say you have watched. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. But you are a star who advocates for it right this second. Yes. So it, your argument is so absurd. It's like saying a person who was a cocaine addict can't tell people it's bad to do cocaine. Do you understand how absurd that is? I think it's a little different. It is absurd. People. Yes, it, it is. It doesn't oh. stop their and fucking hearts. Where on earth God. is the idea that it wasn't? Of course it does. It How is porn heavier, killing people? It leads to heavier amounts of trafficking. Because they're having sex. No, it's because society works because they're Did you hear about a lot of porn stars committing suicide? Well, something to think about it. The mental disorder and the, um, the addictions it follows up. The life they live after that. Okay? I mean, please, please check it out. I request you the young ladies just check it out they're waiting so hard alone. that their heart stops human trafficking do you think human trafficking leads to a better or worse life again thank you again thank you andrew that's not the same thing do you feel like a it is pornography if the you... pornography industry banks on human trafficking in a big way <laughs> and always has both sides of the border, in fact, is a massive problem. You think I don't know where you got the that? idea that pornography doesn't lead to higher rates of drug abuse and mental illness because it does. Does mental illness lead as a contributing factor? What did I say? What did I say? Mental illness. What did it lead to? Often yourself. So self-deletion. We hear story. God, just continue to people offing themselves because i think it does i think all of these things are contributing factors to higher rates of uh, i think men are the reason which that will we lead want to early men are the reason why you off yourself men are the reason why you off yourself To be honest, I have a real quick thing point. I feel like there is a lot of like people that like um, go through depression and you're saying all these things Gosh. about porn stars like falling into this like, you know, bad headspace. I feel like a lot of it has to do with how the public is making them feel about it. Uh, what you guys much. are saying about these porn stars and what they're doing and they're. You want the public to embrace it. You want sex work, only fans. You want the younger generation your daughters your sisters right come into sex work and you want us to glorify it oh my God. they don't uh, are they getting uh, okay are they getting paid to say all these things of course they are. Of course they are. I mean, what a stupid question. Of course they are. Making hundreds and thousands of fans. And probably she will get more signups, more signups on her account after this podcast. And that's another topic because it's on the men as well. So she's right at some point. 
just because but it's, it's crazy because you guys are watching it and you're pleasuring yourselves to what yes. these and then you subscribe. so i feel That's like if excuse. it was well, just that would actually be a about... better case for me than for you so you're saying it, it, it's the stigma which causes this and yet you yourself may engage in this activity that you think is bad for society which i would say in turn means we need more stigma I Not don't think it's bad for society. Right. I think that people learn through it. I think it's sex is healthy. I what, what? Madame, Madame, what are we learning from it? You, you, it, okay. What are you trying to teach those young men and women? What are you trying to teach your, your, your little daughter? What? Different ways to pleasure your man? Is that what you're trying to teach? I think most of the time, some people masturbate and their stress comes like from their body. What do they body. learn from it? How to eat shit? Oh, that what? God. To release no, endorphins. There's, there's, there's a lot of benefits. There's a lot of There's a lot of benefits to porn, you know? And I feel like the 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 bad stuff that they say that comes from porn is because the world is so like to the cameras and to everyone they're like porn is bad porn is bad but they all wish they could do it but they just know that people are just talking no about no, it. no 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 so am I no no that? no 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 maybe a small group of people but not all majority of them don't prefer to do porn let's just and majority of the uh, I mean, majority of the world is conservative. I believe so. It's just a very Western thing. Please do your research. Anyone's head? No, I'm Enough. relieving someone's stress. Sometimes, like, porn is healthy for like like marriage and relationships and stuff like that. It it, it keeps somebody. People get divorced over porn. Something to think about. Yeah. A lot of divorces happen before the form. Madame, that's something to think about. Okay? Just a little thing. Yeah. Buddy from cheating. Yes. They just go to the bathroom. Yes, listen, they... it's possible. possible and that... she knows it. Well, I just, well, I, my well, whole thing is I it's don't possible feel... you can move towards outliers and say that there are some people whose relationship have been vastly improved by pornography. And I'm not even disputing that. I'm sure that there's truth to that somewhere. Okay? But we do. We, you know... Um, I still need to be convinced on that. Maybe there are studies, I, I don't know, that helped a marriage, uh, helped a marriage. Um, me, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, I just don't uh, un understand how it will help. Uh, maybe sexually, maybe teach them a few different things, I don't know. So, I don't, don't even want to get into this. We can look at our society pre-pornography, right? Like, this is not a thing which uh, we have a massive history of. This is a new phenomenon in the it West is, of is. having unfettered access to pornography. And overwhelming every... Some countries have even banned pornography. We can't even um, open porn sites in, in, in those countries. So I think they are very stupid, and they don't even get the uh, get the wisdom that these young la young ladies are talking about. Okay, okay. Yeah. Apparently, they know a lot better than. Um, all the wisdom in the world and all the religious texts that teaches us morality and everything. But apparently they are smarter than every, every single one of them. Well, let's see their wisdom now. Every single societal and sociological study overwhelmingly shows that not only is it bad for the women who are engaged in it, but it's really bad for the men who become addicted to it. it exactly. Exactly. But like exactly. anything, it's like when you're addicted to cigarettes or when you're addicted to vaping or when you're addicted to just doing anything like PlayStation. Everyone has a different fix. It's it's apple like, and oranges. You know, yeah, it's true. But yeah, how do you feel about gamers? We can make distinctions in society between people who might habitually. I think it's beautiful. It's like we're reproducing, though. That's what we're supposed to be we're doing. We're not. That's a big uh, problem. We're not. In fact, our birth rates are under replacement it, rates. It's it's Way declining. Replacement rate in the region. It's declining. Under replacement yeah. rate is because women will 
say, well, I love tradition, but I'm going to wait until all my fertile years are behind me, and then I'll get married when they're in their 30s. And that's why the average rate of a woman getting married in the United States is 30, 30. years old. Yeah. I think that it has nothing to do with the woman. I think although women say that we want to get married when we're in our 30s, we do want to find our Prince Charming to sweep us off our feet. But because it's, you know, these days and how men are perceiving women and um, how they want to live their life first, it's actually causing this to happen. So women are just saying, I'm going to live my yeah, life. That's but my point. ideally, that's when, my when a woman point. is a, a child, we are, we are hoping to yeah, find our Prince Charming point. from a child. So I think that if we just found our Prince Charming at 1920, we would be married then. So we're just, this is something that we're just no, saying. No, you wouldn't be. Because oh, at the I end of the day, so I feel like- If you find your Prince Charming at 19, do you think that going into an OnlyFans career for money is gonna make you more likely to find that Prince Charming or less likely? I don't, I don't think that anybody's saying. thinking that. I think that they're thinking wow. about survival and I think they're putting their family first. I'm survival. So you're, you're saying that everybody will choose sex work and not and you're talking about living in the most prestige country in the world okay where people will kill and die and cross borders to come and they will work hard harder than you ever think and they will they will make a fortune you'll see immigrants are more successful than the than the locals probably they don't they're not even getting that wisdom then then every, every every person should should train their their daughters to okay if you, if you're having problems just go into sex work. How how a ridiculous concept that is. And and in my last video I I mentioned this. This is not even about us anymore. This is about our future generation. Young girls, 10, 12 years old, may listen to this and they think that 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 that, that sex work and only fans, just because it's easy money, it's okay. What kind of society we are looking at? And these are us. these are our future mothers. I, I can't. Andrew, please explain. I mean, I know for my decision was no, I wanted you're not to put. thinking about survival. That's ridiculous. And for some, survival it could be is different for everyone. Five thousand dollars a month. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's Most ridiculous. People would be more than pleased Two, to have a thousand dollar an hour job, and they would be surviving just that's fine. Correct. But that's fine. Just, people, just fine. Do this for survival. I always know the second a woman says, "I do this for survival," it's all about the money. What her paycheck is. Yeah. What do you think most people survive on? Hmm. Everything is for different people. Everyone has different reasons why they joined. Maybe they got out of a. It, I, I can't say. I can't speak for why she joined OnlyFans. I can't speak for. No, I know why. I'm. I'm I might have. You all joined it for the same reason because you wanted the money. Okay, yeah. and that is fine. But maybe some didn't have the parents to tell them, "Hey, this but, is I mean, what, what college you, is." What do you mean? That's you sad. The reasons then. You all That's know sad. The and, and it's it's, it's, it's all I'm saying money. is there's That's no. Why. That's why. There's everyone has different reasons that why they joined. And no, they don't. I think they all as long have the same reason they all do it for money. Okay, and in the money. which which money causes financial freedom? I will say. My financial freedom has led to my family in Cuba having ACs. Like we all have houses. Like I've done good things with my money. I don't think that the girls that are doing yeah, bad all things. you had to do in order to get that was prostitute yourself. Do you think that was a good? She didn't say that. She prostituted herself so that her family can have money. What would her dad think? I mean, what? I don't understand what will her parents will be thinking right now that we have this 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 a lot of money but how did our daughter got it okay and what kind of mental state would the parents be when you show your when people will show their daughters okay this is your daughter I can't even imagine if I have a little girl and she, oh Lord, I, I, I failed as a father then. I, I definitely failed as a father if, if that happens. I hope I cross my heart that it doesn't. Exchange says, your dad say thanks well, for the AC. I'm glad that you but, prostituted yourself for my AC. Thank Honestly, you. Does your dad say, 
Thank you for prostituting yourself so I have air No, he doesn't. He, no, he doesn't. Well, that's not... No, that's no, not no, 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 please. Because, because no, he doesn't. Orange oh, I'm is sure so it's top not. Down I'm sure it's like, not spoken on. about. It's not prostitution. I mean, I... It I, is. I, I, it is. It is. It is. It's, in the end of the day, I know everyone is saying whatever about porn, but I know that it arouses you, even though you don't say it. I know, oh, it, I know you oh, have seen Lord. it at one point in your life. So I'm just, my whole thing oh, is like, just Lord, I feel Lord, that you should Lord, really Lord. stop just Good trying to put the these OnlyFans and porn stars down because oh, that is yeah. why. So, so here's the thing. It's a good thing I'm not the sum total of just my biology and I have high reason in that, though I can agree. Thank you so much. There's no doubt that that's true. I also right. had this great thing called the choice to not view it, even knowing that it's true. So whether it arouses me or not, beside the point, I don't think that if put to the question, if I ask your old man, hey, all she had to do was prostitute herself for your AC, that he would say, Preach. get on her. Do you no. honestly think he'd say that? No. Who is it harming? Oh, God. My dad doesn't give a fuck, but he also loves me. He just... Which is like it's unconditional do, love. Whether your child best. is a killer or, or that you're gonna love them no matter what, you understand love that's their decision. The love, I'm not talking about love or whether or not your father loves you. I'm sure he loves you very much. You're his daughter. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying yeah. anything about whether or not he loves you or cares. But about if that you. was I'm the only alternative that a, a choice, woman had, I'm not saying. But here's the question: Did you love your father enough to respect him and not to humiliate him? All in front of this world, all in front of the world. Did you love your father that much? Or if the father, okay, I don't want to say. What kind of father, if the father is okay with that, I don't believe these girls know. I really don't. Saying that that was she I mean, makes a lot of money to buy you AC if she prostitutes herself. Would he be behind that? No. I'm not saying that that's what was my decision or anyone, but everyone had different reasons. Maybe that they were doing something. May I've heard of stiff okay, you don't know as many like porn stars and creators as I do. I've heard and I've listened to people behind closed doors of why they join. And you know, some of these people are the nicest people that I've met. I will say I'm sure they're nice. I, I just think do you that you know any of them who have motivation other than money for why they join? Money is the reason this Dark world is Roman moving. Money is the reason why there's being so many. Men aren't so interested in dating women who act like men. What? Men go overseas because Western women are toxic and act like the men they want to be with. We want femininity and you all aren't. Perfect. Except be a masculine man. Provide for the woman. Then take her away. Like, that's just simple. It's, it's, not, it's not so complicated. It's like, in the end, I just, all I'm saying is that I feel like you know, these podcasts are always trying to say, like, that we're not going to find a, a high value man. The same thing, we're just repeating. And, and I feel like it's bringing down That's these OnlyFans and podcast. porn stars. And it's making them more Love depressed it. because. Mm. I'm pretty sure you will find a man. I'm pretty sure you will. There are lots of dudes out there, even if you've slept with a thousand men. There will be a guy out there who will put a ring on your finger. I'm pretty sure about that. But I don't think that a guy who the term high value man who has worked hard enough to make a name in the society um, would be able to wipe you up. I mean, that's not just insulting you. Um, not putting you down as a human being. I'm sure your parents love you. Um, and I'm sure that God loves you. But there are consequences to every action. And please, please, please. Um, if you have done something wrong, and you're involved in some sort of sex work or any other you're involved in drugs or you're involved in something immoral, okay? Accept that you're doing something wrong. Accept it. Accept it and tell them, yeah, I was, I wanted more money. Yeah, and I, I wanted to do it for money. I wanted to do it for a little bit of clout. And that's why I know it's wrong. I would have a lot more respect for you. 
I will have a lot more respect for you, but you drag, drag morality in it. You drag morality and you're trying to make it look that this is something that is very virtuous and we should accept it. What kind of message are we sending towards our younger generation? That's what, that's what baffles me the most. Okay. Andrew, please explain. It's just putting things in other and in, in other men's head, like, oh, that's not a good woman. And don't honestly, subscribe. some of my star friends are just they 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 care more for me than just like my non star friends. Like, I think that they're some of the nicest, open minded individuals, you know. So yeah. I just feel like we but should stop bashing people. Reconciling this when people hear this, right? When they're trying to reconcile it in their brain, right? right. They're hearing this. I do this because I'm a strong, empowered woman, and it makes me a lot of money. And then when pressed on it. The very, the second they're pressed on it, it's no, it's because I have a poor, poor family in Cuba. Oh, it's like, God. Oh, no, but aside of that, what if, what if they found a hypocrisy? Let me finish, I'm almost done. What hypocrisy? You're not doing it because of the poor family in Cuba. No. A side effect of you doing it may be that you can buy AC for a poor family in Cuba, but your motive. I know a lot of people, a lot of immigrants, wonderful people, girls, boys, whatever. Okay. They work on average on 50, 60 hours a week. They'll do anything and everything. And most of them have families abroad. They they support their families and they make a very good living by working hard. They open businesses, and, um, have good jobs now, educate themselves, everything. And, and uh, socioeconomic wise, they, they excel because of hard work. None of them I know that turned into sex work. A lot of girls, a lot of girls are now married with kids. And the, ma the fact of the matter is that she says that she's done it because she wanted to provide for her family. It's absurd. It's absurd. And I don't know her that well, or I know these ladies that well, but What a waste. I mean, that's what I think. Not as an individual, but as uh, as a um, as a life itself. If you choose this path, and I'm not even judging them that they fall, uh, fall into such sex work. Yes, you want uh, money. You want. Uh, whatever you wanted fast money and a lot of these girls are earning 40 50 grand a month come on people people make that kind of money in a year and they're happy and they're surviving and they're living a good life and they're living a respectable life what are you talking about you wanted you wanted a Porsche or Lambo or whatever it is and you and you call it surviving and you sell, you sell yourself, I'm not, at the end of the day, I'm not judging you because there's only one judge and that's the good Lord up there according, that's what I believe in. But he has given a code of conduct, a morale that we should abide to. And suddenly you became, uh, such you suddenly you have such a wisdom that you are saying that no all of the wisdom on all the religions all the religions in the world that that despise these despise this sort of an attitude are suddenly gone wrong and you are right well motivation is purely self-interest. Let's not kid ourselves. It's purely self-interest. It what, is. What are you doing, right? My last comment is, what if I found passion in it? What if I have tried different jobs? I could tell you like four or five different jobs that you'd be like, oh, well, I used to code. Which is why I, I asked to code. the question. I used to code. I used to life insurance and health insurance. Then, then why did you stop? And, and, that, the was and no. that's fine. That's a good job. Reason, right now I have, I can retire if I wanted to, but I will say I will find I, I will kind of find like something's missing. Like I find the thrill of like creating content. Like, cause in the end of the day, it's not just like, oh, we're- She told on herself. 
she told on herself. She said she was coding, she was in IT. Okay, and that's that's a good career. But now, now she's had the thrill of creating a content she told on herself. There you go. All your argument falls on the face. Getting on set and we're doing like an OnlyFans video. No, it requires marketing. It's, it requires creativity. There's a lot to it, you know, because... Marketing what? Your privates? If it was oh, just yeah? that Would easy. Would you do it for free? The what? Would you do it for free? I no. used to do it for free. Just um, influencing yeah. on Instagram. Well, we do just anything like, for literally, free. Literally, we have 24 not hours in a day. Money, just just build would, you, would, you, would, you, would you do this Big type of work? jury donated $100. <laughs> Imagine eating dingleberries on video and thinking you have a standing to provide a substantive argument on you morality. Said that, you said that you have a passion for what you do. Does that include the ass eating? <laughs> um, well, that's like just like... Because like you said what you do. have a passion for it, right? Like what if you have a passion well, for like... No, I have a passion. No, I have a passion for just like I, come I enjoy just, just, the creativity. For assy, come on, well, no. yeah, that's outside of the job. I do that in my personal life. Okay. Stop I that. I've, I've it. always stop found it. myself stop like it. a boy sexual. Stop it! Stop! 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 Is there anything else left to say? Please, am I missing something, guys? Please, am I missing something? Right? And... I feel... Well... It is... It, um, it is very, very sad, and very, very disturbing to see what kind of uh, society we have turned into. Very sad. Anyways, I think Andrew uh, explained it better. <laughs> But I just worry about the kind of message that we are sending. And when we are clashing with morality and uh, immoral behaviors where, where we, we will come to a point where sex work is so glorified that the young girls may come up and say, okay, well, we, I will open up our only fans account and make a lot of money. I don't need a degree. I don't need that. I don't need this. I don't need to get married. Yeah. And, and this is, and I'm glad this is a very Western thing. And so majority of the world doesn't think like that. And I'm glad that that's the case, and I hope it, I hope it stays that way. Well, this is the picture of the West, in a nutshell. And I don't know what the future holds. Am I missing something? Here, please let me know in the comment section. If I miss something, I'm sure I have. Uh, I'm sure I have. I mean, some of the the things that these young ladies were were telling me I didn't even, I was speechless I didn't even have anything to say I didn't even have anything I, I don't know what to say so and in between I was very gibberish and I well, did she say that how do I respond to that anyways um thank you guys for listening it's been a long video now um and I let me know in the comment section what I missed. And, and I need to hear your comments and your thoughts on that as well. Um, if you want me to react to more videos like this, please send me the link or let me know in the comment section. And help you buy out. Um, please subscribe to the channel. 
Um, I know it's a shameful, shameful, shameful attempt to say that to grow my channel, but that's the only way I can I can think about. It, okay, but well, time to say goodbye. See you in the next video, um, and as always, look after yourself and each other. Bye for now.